Wednesday was National Signing Day for high school student athletes across the country. One Spring Grove senior will run track in the SEC, but as Alex Colley shows us, she's far from done raising the bar in the Keystone State. As the saying goes, your high school years fly by in the blink of an eye. But Spring Grove's Layla Campbell has only ever needed seconds to make a lasting impression. It's been a whole year of recruitment, so it's finally like, okay, this is official. Like, I know I announced earlier, but now it's actually official. The Rockets track standout went from up and comer to phenom in the time it takes her to run 100 meters. State championships, national championships, Gatorade player of the year honors and countless scholarship offers quickly followed. Thinking about it, looking at it like that's all of mine. Like it's just I'm really thankful and blessed to have everybody supporting me. We started at age eight running track and just looking at the different uh, events, different accomplishments, the ups, the downs, just enjoying the process. Campbell has officially signed with LSU, which is consistently one of the top programs in the nation. I made a good relationship with my coaches at LSU, so it's like it was it was a tough decision to make, but once it was made, it wasn't going to, you know, I wasn't going to change my mind. Not a lot of people know when we went to LSU, we picked a, a non-football weekend. You can get caught up in the glitz and the glamour, but we really wanted to look at the substance. So that was one thing we liked about LSU was um, we really concentrated on really track, the academics, just the school itself, the environment. Layla Campbell runs the fastest time here, a meet record. And that is the 10th fastest time in the nation so far this year. It's Campbell's name on the medals, the trophies, and the scholarship, but she didn't do it alone. Especially being in a public school setting, I think it shows everybody that you don't need to go to a uh, IMG. Spring Grove has given us all those resources and supported us to be able to compete at the highest level in the SEC. So I, I, I just want to say thank you to the community and administration. Like opposing runners, her recruitment is behind her. But Campbell still has plenty to chase after in her final season at Spring Grove. I want to break the state records and I want to, want to run something like 22, under 23 in the 200 at states. And then at the end of the year, I feel like I could run 10, 9, 11 low and then 22 mid. Alex Colley, Fox 43.